to a special episode from the Retail Cloud Alliance. In this episode, we dive into the fascinating world of holiday retail trends and their profound influence on the retail ecosystem. Join us as we explore how these trends are reshaping the way retailers collect and leverage data to transform their customer experience. You know, the holidays are when the rubber meets the road for many retailers a make or break time of year for making their profitability goals. In recent years, retailers have had to adapt to changing consumer behavior, new technologies, and a more competitive landscape. You know, some of the key trends that I believe have shaped the evolution of the holidays in retail are the rise of e-commerce, the growth of mobile shopping, smartphones have become an essential tool for holiday shoppers, the importance of personalization. So, you know, shoppers today expect retailers to understand their individual needs and preferences. And also, retailers are striving to create a seamless shopping experience that combines the best of online and offline shopping. So, this includes offering in store pickup for online orders, returning items to stores, and using mobile apps to enhance the in store experience. And of course, social media has become an important way for retailers to connect with customers and promote their products. Retailers are using social media to share holiday gift guides, run contests, and offer exclusive discounts. The holiday period has really, over time, evolved more to become more of online shopping. When we think about the pandemic, I mean, that just amplified it. Online shopping has soared, and we continue to see that post-pandemic. Additionally, we've seen that the holiday timing is creeping back on the timeline. I mean, look at Black Friday and Cyber Monday. They're no longer just a day event, they're multi-week events that don't require waiting in long lines on a Friday at your brick and mortar store and stampeding over the person in front of you. I think in the last few years, especially, you know, we had a few major shocks to consumers. One, of course, is COVID, which is hopefully in the rearview mirrors, but still very much in in people's minds. But the other one is certainly the more recent kind of broader economic conditions where, you know, we're seeing high inflationary pressures, you know, creating a lot of, you know, cost of living challenges for folks. So certainly every dollar needs to be stretched farther and consumers are certainly much more price conscious. They tend to compare a lot more. They tend to be a lot more actually data driven. We're seeing brand loyalty becoming less of a kind of driver and the cost and the value piece being much more top of mind for a lot of our consumers. So when I talk to a lot of our customers, it's really about how do we extend kind of the value of the brand into the value of the product as well as the experience and combine that together. Obviously, this does differ when you're talking between luxury versus general merchandise versus groceries versus convenience. But generally speaking, you know, consumers are certainly much more price conscious and are doing kind of their due diligence and their homework before making especially significant purchases over the holidays. Some of the key trends that I've seen over the last several years that have shaped the evolution of retail during the holidays are the rise in the ubiquitous commerce. I don't even call it omni-channel anymore. It's commerce everywhere all the time. It's enabled consumers to shop anytime, anywhere, on any device and has increased the convenience for shoppers, but conversely created greater competition, much larger investments in digital marketing, and higher cost of sales for retailers. Additionally, the emergence of new consumer segments and preferences such as millennials, Gen Z, and fast on their heels, Gen Alpha, are socially conscious shoppers. They demand more personalization because the retailer has their data, they expect them to know them. They also expect more authenticity and commitment to their values as consumers from the retailer, which can be challenging. The pandemic accelerated the pace of this change, but consumers have settled into their new normal. And yet, 75% plus of retail transactions in the U.S. still occur in stores. These are retail's most profitable transactions as well. And finally, consumers are much more planful and deliberate in how they approach holiday shopping. Black Friday has become less frenetic as shopper purchasing patterns become more spread out. But Retail Next is reporting that foot traffic in stores was up 1.5% for Black Friday this year for the weekend, and that's really good news for retailers. The holiday period is expected to undergo significant changes as the retail industry embraces technological advancements. Here are some key trends that are likely to shape the future of holiday shopping. 
the personalized shopping experience, technology will play a crucial role in enhancing personalization during the holidays. Retailers will leverage data analytics, artificial intelligence, and machine learning to gain deeper insights into customer preferences and behaviors. The immersive shopping experiences, augmented reality and virtual reality technologies will transform the way customers interact with products and make purchasing decisions. Voice commerce, so voice assistants like Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant will become increasingly popular for holiday shopping. Customers will use these devices to search for products, add items to their carts and complete purchases hand free. And we talked a little bit about social commerce and the social media platforms. Well, Instagram and TikTok, they're continue to evolve into powerful shopping channels. And of course, the omni-channel fulfillment. Retailers will strive to create a seamless shopping experience that blends that online and offline channels. Customers expect a seamless process, whether it's online shopping or shopping in the store. As we think about the holiday period, data has absolutely changed the way we've done things. It allows you to better understand past purchase dynamics, but also the intent data can allow you to get a glimpse of what's gonna be hot. However, even with the best data, I'd say it's not a perfect science. It's even kind of like the stock market. Retailers can't fully predict consumer behavior right now and the variability. I think a perfect example that comes to mind is the Stanley Cup viral videos influencers. Stanley Cup is not talking hockey. It's actually a cup that was commonly for decades marketed to the construction industry. You take some influencers that happen to be women who start featuring it and you have a whole new audience based on what they're saying and what they're providing. That's grown now to expand who their target actually is. Now take it a step further that you can't control is when a viral TikTok video in the last month happened of a car catching on fire and the only thing standing perfectly intact was a Stanley Cup. The best kept marketing plans can't predict for good or bad sometimes on what our media and the consumer can control. Data in today's world, especially you know in the last year where AI has played such a kind of pivotal role in terms of what's being top of mind in retail uh, leadership's kind of discussions, data underpins everything. And not just kind of how you engage with customers, but really how you run your business overall, how your business being perceived by the market. So, you know, we talk a lot around consumer loyalty, knowing your customers, creating personalized experiences, but the underlying foundations of running your whole business from the supply chain in terms of how you're creating your merchandising strategy, your demand planning that then connects into your warehousing, logistics, transportation, as well as how retailers connect into consumer goods company to make sure that these products are not only available, but also are traceable, also are meeting environmental and sustainability goals and, and objectives. You know, that's all underpinned by data. It's still a huge problem for a lot of the retailers because that requires unlocking or unblocking a lot of data silos that have traditionally existed because of the technical debt that's been created over the last years, if not decades. And so even though the data might be there, you know, being able to unblock or unlock that data and be able to extract the insights still is a huge challenge for organizations. The holiday period is likely to change in some major ways as the retail industry moves forward technologically. And as new technologies will create new possibilities and challenges for both retailers and for their customers. These include advancements in AI, particularly large language models. These will enhance the capabilities and intelligence of retail systems and processes and enable more automation. But when ChatGPT can find all the items on my holiday shopping list in the greatest value with a single query, why do I need to visit multiple retailers' websites or drive from store to store? The potential is there to completely disrupt retail as we know it. While consumers will still crave the physical experience of holiday shopping in stores and interacting with product and other people, the stakes will be much higher for delivering an outstanding shopping experience. Bottom line, stores will need to deliver more engaging and interactive experiences to compel consumers to visit. And finally, this will fundamentally change not only Black Friday, but also disrupt the industry in its entirety. 
To future-proof, retailers will need to develop and implement a more holistic, intentional data strategy and invest in store experience. Kicking off 2024, we'll explore how computer vision and AI-powered tools are enhancing visual merchandising strategies for retailers. We'll also be hearing insights from some special guests that you won't want to miss. To learn more about the Retail Cloud Alliance, don't forget to click the link below and subscribe to our channel so you're first in line to watch the latest episodes.